What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Minton Outdoors. If you have a DSLR and you're spending a bunch of money on lenses, filters, and all that good stuff, and you're still running this, we need to talk. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Minton Outdoors. How are my outdoor crew doing? I want to talk to you about DSLR straps. Now this is not my first camera. This is my second camera. The other one actually is Chase's camera and I've got to give it back to him at some point, which I'm fixing to do. But um, one of the things I've always been annoyed by is the camera strap. Now, you need them to protect your investment. I mean, let's face it. Unless you've got a, a tripod or a Joby pod or something that you've got on your camera that you're holding the camera all the time, you need something else to secure that camera with you and the camera strap is the best way to do it. It's going to hang around your neck. You can put it under your arm, you know, however you want to do it, but it's always there ready to go. But one of the things we run into as YouTubers is sometimes the strap gets in the way. Now we're going to stop right here and what I'm going to talk about is actually the Peak Design Leash. That's the one I have chosen for my camera. And, um, well, we're going to take a good, long, hard look at it and tell you why you should choose it for your camera. Okay, so as I was saying, this is a Peak Design camera strap. This particular one I bought is the leash. Um, what comes in the box is the leash camera strap, 4 millimeter hex wrench, which is that little bad boy right there, uh, you get four of the anchors, which is these right here. Uh, then you get a base plate, or anchor mount as they call it. And microfiber pouch. Pretty cool little pouch that you can keep those little accessories in that you're not using at the time. And for a sticker, guys, you get a sticker. <laughs> so anyways, um, now I'll Real quick, I'll run down their different styles. They have the slide and the slide light. They have the leash, which is the one I've got, which is the one sitting right here. They have the cuff and the clutch. Now, as far as price breakdown on these goes, uh, they start at $29.99, which is for the uh, leash, or for the cuff, which is just an arm hold that you can put on here. And then they have all the way up to the slide, which is $64.95, which is much thicker than the one I've got. Um, and, well, it's just beefy all the way around. Um, so, one of the problems we run into as we shoot our videos and stuff, a lot of times we, we, we are free gunning. We're using... Joby pods or tripods such as the one the camera's on right now or even sliders. Well one of the things that happens is when you start doing this is this gets in the way if it's on the camera. So what Peak Design came up with is a cam system, cam locking system which is what these are right here as you can see. They're just little pucks and you loop this through the camera now i will tell you this i will i have found out i cannot get this to work on the um sh sx7 3070 whatever it is the one i'm shooting on right now my vlog camera uh, i cannot get these through the little hole they will not fit i have tried and tried because i wanted the leash to put on it that way i could have it around my arm um, and have the camera hanging off of it is ready to go if I needed to go that route. Um, last year when we went to, or ugh, the year before last, when we went to, um, when we went to Biltmore, you could not, we read, you could not bring in by, uh, tripods, the small tripods, carry pods, or selfie sticks. So that meant I was carrying the camera in my hand the whole time and was shooting video and pictures that way. Which, okay, that's fine. Of course, I get in there and find out everybody's got Joby pods just like I had. You know, that's how it goes. So anyways, 
with something like the Lynx, you at least got a strap on it or something. Now this one does still have the factory strap on it. And I'm going to leave it on there for now until I can figure out some way of eventually one day getting one of these on there. Um, but we're going to go in the specifics of what I've got. And its strength, its strap width, everything of that nature. And then we'll show you how it works. Um, the strap length is 57 inches maximum. That's the maximum it will let itself out. Uh, let me show you that real quick, how it lets out and lets in. To let it out and let it in, you pull up here, it takes the tension off, and it slides right through. Do the same thing to pull it back. But once you've let that go, it's not going to pull against itself once it locks in. It will not do it. I mean, I can pull that to the plastic brakes, probably. Um, so the minimum this thing will go down to is 32.6 inches. Now, if you need that metric, it's a 1450 millimeter down to 830 millimeter. So I can get the millimeters for you. Uh, strap width, which you'll notice is just a little bit smaller than what the Canon strap is right here. Now, what I like about this is this is this size all the way through, and we'll get into the cord part here and in a few minutes, we'll talk about the cord. Um, there's a little something special there. But then you've got this webbing on the cannon part. But like I said, you have to feed this through to undo it to take the strap off every time you want to remove the strap. And like I said, when you get into putting it on a tripod or stuff like that, you don't want the strap dangling off. So the width of this particular one is 0.75 inches or 19 millimeter. The weight is 86 grams or 3.0 ounces. Okay, so here's where we get into talking about these and what they're made of. Even though this is a plastic, it's formed around this, what is Dyneema corded anchors. Uh, withstand up to 200 pounds, making the leash safe for use in the largest professional cameras. So this will, this takes 200 pounds to break this. I dare say somebody come up and try to snatch your camera off your neck, you're probably gonna get hurt yourself, not them, you are. Because 200 pounds of force is a lot of force to break that little string, um, which I think that's pretty crazy. Um, you can use their bottom plate on the bottom of your camera such as so and if you want to make an attachment point here and here or here to here you can do that instead of using both sides now we'll show you how these come apart or come off as you push down on the center let me zoom you in a little bit I'm pulling it away. you push down on the center of the the little puck and slide it up and it comes out if my fingers would work today comes out so that's all you have left hanging off the camera as you can see which i think is a pretty cool deal so this is not in your way once you have it on your slider or you have it on your um, tripod the strap is completely out of your way at this point and won't get it you don't have to worry about it getting in your picture is what i'm getting at so once you have it mounted, all you have are these things dangling off and they won't be in your video. So like I said, if you're spending XYZ on lenses, for instance, tripods, that kind of stuff, spend the money and get, and that's the other thing I like about this. It's so comfortable. It's so soft. It's not rough. It's not rigid. It just lays on your neck. Yeah, you still got the heavy camera on there, but it is very comfortable on there. Uh, the wider ones, I imagine, would be much more comfortable. I'll slow, throw a picture in of the slide right about now, and I'll throw a picture in of the leash right about now. So you can see those two examples um, and what they look like. But I, man, I've been carrying it. A little over a month now with this leash on it and I love it I love the way it feels it doesn't feel 
rough and edgy like this does on your neck. Um, I'm not a big fan of the leather um, straps. I've tried one and well, I didn't like it. Didn't really like it. Um, the, like I said, price point on these, kind of pricey. But if you're going to go spending the money on the, the lenses and the other gear that goes with these cameras, why not spend a little money on the leash, the, the strap that's around your neck too. So anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, hit that thumbs up for Patrick and Mid-10 Outdoors. Be prepared. Remember, anything in the bottom, if you go shopping on Amazon, click on one of my links to get there. And anything you purchase, we get a little something back. And it doesn't cost you any more. And we sure appreciate it. Be prepared, guys.